Hello and welcome to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar. In this video I'll be summarising Act 1 of Othello by William Shakespeare. It's a whistle-stop tour so I've considered mainly pivotal moments within the act rather than concentrating in detail on quotation analysis. So Othello has secretly married Desdemona, the daughter of rich senator Brabantio. Brabantio hasn't found out though. He finds out from Rodrigo, the fool, in the middle of the night. Rodrigo's upset about Desdemona getting married because he quite liked her himself. She didn't like him though. Brabantio demands a search party be sent out to find his daughter and he's so angry he goes to the Senate to speak to the Duke about his concerns about this marriage. Brabantio accuses Othello in front of the courts of using magic to win his daughter. Othello stakes his life on Desdemona's testimony on how they fell in love. Othello is not proved guilty when Desdemona shares their love story. The Duke of Venice tries to repair the father-daughter relationship between Brabantio and Desdemona, but by the end of the act, Brabantio has disowned Desdemona. The Duke dispatches Othello to defend Cyprus from a Turkish fleet. This is important business, and in a way, it underpins the response the Duke has on a much more lenient level towards Othello. He knows business is much more important than the private life of Othello. Desdemona pleads to join her husband and is granted permission to go to Cyprus. Othello's ensign Iago will go also, of course, but his wife Amelia will become Desdemona's maid. How does the drama unfold in Act 1? The play opens with Iago talking to Rodrigo on the streets of Venice in the middle of the night. Rodrigo is frustrated that Iago did not push the idea of him marrying Desdemona to her father, Brabantio. The audience learn that Othello and his elopement are taken from the lens of these two characters, who clearly hate him. We consider, does Shakespeare do this to give us insight into the, the nature of him as other and different? Or does it simply heighten how little we should trust them as characters? Iago highlights why he hates Othello. He wanted to be promoted to lieutenant, but that instead was given to a Florentine called Michael Cassio. Iago wants revenge on both Cassio and Othello, and he's determined to get it. Iago gets Rodrigo to inform Brabantio of Desdemona's elopement instead of him. And we see his role as villain play out very well from the start of Act 1. By the end of the act, we know that Iago is truly Machiavellian. Through his soliloquy, he seeks revenge for a rumour of Othello having slept with Amelia. Though if we're honest, we feel like Iago as a character is determined to do battle with Othello on any grounds. So in this particularly brief summary of Act 1, our takeaways should be that this is the act where we hear of secret marriage. We meet our villain and we meet the fool. We meet our protagonist, who we know is our tragic hero, Othello. We see the divisive reactions to the marriage. Brabantio hates it, the Duke accepts it, and absolutely we realise how much in love Othello and Desdemona are at this point. We know of the revenge plotting that's happening with Iago. But finally, we also realise that the blurring of public and private will have implications. This is heightening our suspicions that for Iago, he is already winning when his plan has already been laid by the end of Act 1. He wants to bring about the downfall of Othello and we've already seen how socially isolated Othello really is. This act sets the fall that is inevitable. But for now, our protagonist Othello is a measured man who's seeking his best to do what's good in the eyes of the Duke and Desdemona. Why not subscribe to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar for all things English, literary and grammatical?